So this whole time I was sat here, I've done a video, I recorded for 19 minutes, and then saw my GoPro's reflection, realised I wasn't recording. Great. But, what we were talking about, we were talking about an app. Now, I just got down to Cheddar, and um, I've already done this video before as well, I did it yesterday, but my GoPro was really blurry, so I thought, I'll come down, I'll do it again. And now I wasn't recording. Bruh. <laughs> so. I'm going to have to make this video a lot shorter. I may talk about tyres in this video. Obviously, tyres are very personal opinion things. So, if you don't like my opinion, that's cool. Like, So, right now, I have some Continental tyres on this bike. And I'm not a fan. Let's have a look at them, actually. I'm not a fan of these tyres. So, you can see massive chicken strips on the front. Um, that's because I don't like leaning these tyres over. If you look, the, the water grooves here they go up right to the end so you have no slick here whatsoever now they do last quite a long time what are these these are continentals uh, but like yeah they're just not sticky and they, they just don't seem to warm up very quickly look massive chicken strips if you've seen my conti motion as well bleh, bleh, conti motions don't like them if you've seen my r3 videos around with cheddar I got no chicken strips on that R3 with the stock tyres on, which I can't remember what were, but then I swapped them to some Pirelli Diablo 2s, Pirelli Rosso 2s, Di Pirelli Diablo Rosso 2 tyres, and those tyres are amazing, they warm up so quickly, and with those tyres, the grooves here, they stop, so where my chicken strips are now, all that, there's no water grooves, it's basically like a slick, so when you tip it over, you actually get more grip. And they feel so much safer, and that's why I love those tyres. I will be getting some for this bike, um, but after the Urk trip, because I want to get some Pirelli uh, Angel GTs first, because that bug is still moving. Bruh, there's like nothing to you. How are you still moving? Dude, that's ghetto. Yeah, just because of the mileage, like, this wheel is so t cold already, I've been running for an hour. Yeah, why am I talking about tyres and the video is about an app? So, obviously now you know I love Pirelli tyres. So, we go to this app, it is called the Diablo, or it's called Pirelli Diablo SBK. It's a free app, um, I want to make it clear right now, this is not a sponsored video, I'm not in contact with the, with Pirelli at all how much like I would love to be but I'm not so this is personally like completely me going off of um, like I, I love this app and that's why I want to get it and make a video about it I, so I saw this on a, a Facebook group page thing that I'm a part of and uh, I was like oh yeah I like Pirelli tires let's, let's give this app a go load it up and I was filling out what bike you have what tires you've got on blah 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 and hmm, I, I looked at it and I was like, wow, that is a shit ton of info on it. Um, so I took it out for a spin and it tells you your lean angle, your g-forces, so much. So we'll load it up. Now, 
I will record my screen, I'll do a voiceover at the end of this video. We'll take it back for a spin and I'll show you some more things, because I thought I was recording, I wasn't. So, if we go to this one, this is the one I just did, where I thought I was recording. Uh, I travelled for 19 minutes, top speed of 69 miles an hour, I've done a 14.1 uh, miles is my distance. If we look here, you can see my whole journey, I started at Chill Compton. Um, you can see there was a good lean angle right there. I was going 20 miles an hour. There's a 7 degree, where was the big drop then? There, 45 degrees right there. 27 miles an hour, g-force of 0 0.6 g's. And the t t it tells you the Fahrenheit as well. Mad. Um, so right now it's telling me the day where I started, Chill Compton. Uh, the, the the temperature, my lean angle is 45 degrees, 45 degrees. Now I do have the, I have it on my phone. I have it locked because I think it's very distracting if I have it like this um, while I'm running. Like I know that R1Ms and things like that now have a TFT dash with all this kind of information on it. Um, let me turn my low battery mode off a sec because my phone keeps dimming down. Um, it's my brightness all the way up, pretty much. Um, so yeah, I know they have that on the dash, but personally I find that very distracting, literally. I want to be riding, looking at the road, I'll look down to see my speed, and that's pretty much it. So I think that kind of stuff is distracting, but you can have this app running in the background, just lock your phone, and you can check it. Now, I don't know how accurate it is having it on your bike, uh, to say in your pocket, because you can, like, on, you can do it on for track, and I don't think you can have your phone on your bloody bike on the track so you have it in your pocket so I don't know having it in your left pocket compared to your right pocket you know the lean angle I don't know how it does that but it might you can save different journeys so you can see I've done plenty of different journeys it tells you what bike what tires so there's so much information on this it's unbelievable so let's start this up you see it does a little countdown and now it's just the time so we'll leave the time running um, that's I don't get that distracted like I'm not gonna get distracted by that I've got a bloody lap timer on this thing um, so we'll head up Cheddar and we'll see if we can beat a 45 degree lean angle now the turning circle on this bike is terrible so whee! there we go right oh, I, th I think I was in second gear that whole time then um, I will take it easy for here while I talk about this app so that's why I wanted to talk about the tyres first, because I was in second gear. Um, I, I don't like these tyres, these Continental, so my lean angle is not going to be amazing. Now, if you haven't seen the video of my friend on his KTM Duke 125, that will show you how you can really corner on this road, but I'm keeping it easy for this start a little bit. We'll give it a little sum sum on the way back. Or me hit the national speed limit bit. This all used to be national speed limit and they've now changed it to 30 miles an hour. Which I understand because of all the boy races that come here. But yeah, so that's why I want to talk about the, the tyres as well. Because I love Pirelli tyres. Like, I really do. I think they're really, really good. That's why I want to get some uh, Pirelli GT, uh, Angel GTs for the Euro trip. Um, I did want to go through with some Bridgestone Battle Axes. Like, I contacted them to see if they would sponsor the, uh, sponsor the ride. Um, but they already do charity work for the uh, blood bikes, so um, they said they, they, they can't really support it again, like more, if that makes sense. Um, so I was going to go with some of them, but I got, I found a really good deal on the Angel GTs, and oh, I, I just love Pirellis, I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit of a Pirelli fanboy, and I have thought about upgrading from the Rosso 2s to say like the super courses which i am tempted if i can get a good enough deal on them but we'll see so anyway this app this app is completely free um i really do recommend downloading it as i said i'm not sponsored whatsoever i just love using it and i think everyone should you know just take it put it in your pocket on track if you can um even on the road just to see like how long you've been riding for, uh, your lean angle, it's just a bit of fun really, now always just drive at your own limit, like don't try and push it um, to get a lower lean angle and shit like that because you'll end up crushing, just go at your own pace and just have a look, like have it there, 
just to show off with mates. You can add friends and whatnot, and it's just it's just cool. It's a cool app, all right. All right, I'm gonna now concentrate a little bit. I'm hopefully recording this time, oh, and I'm stuck behind a car. Of course I'd be. Oh, a car and a cyclist, even better. Two favourite things in this bloody world. Let's see what I hit there. I do like that corner, the right hand one. That is a fun little fucking corner. Right. Let's pull over just here. Actually, sure we'll go up a little bit because this bloody road drops off. Here we go. Look at this lovely view while I'm here. Do you know what? This GoPro is actually recording. It's, it's been having troubles where it hasn't been recording recently. Look how much that leans over. Like, it's fucking dumb. Uh, uh. You know what? I'm going to have to... I'll probably have to get off the bike. There we go. Right. Very tall bike. Um, so let's have a look. Start saving. No, I'll leave the indicator on. So I didn't do it as well at that time. I got a lean angle of 32 and 32. They're always exactly the same. Which is a bit, I don't know, but again, tells you the distance, tells you your top speed, tells you your little journey. Look at that wiggly road, they're always the best. All the G-forces. It's an awesome app, guys, I really recommend it. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Oh, we got this guy coming this way. He is. If you enjoyed the, uh, enjoyed the video... Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.